In this video I'll show you how I fixed an issue with my windshield wiper blades. They seem to be out of sync. One was working fine, but the other one was only going up about halfway. You can also follow these steps if you need to remove or replace your windshield wiper arms. For example, if the spring is no longer providing sufficient pressure to the windscreen, you may need to perform some repairs. So this car here is a 2009 Saturn View. So as I try to manually lift and raise the wiper arm, you can see there's some give down at the pivot point. That shouldn't be. I shouldn't be able to move the arm that easily. When I try to do the same thing on the arm that's working fine, I'm unable to move it and there is no movement at all at the pivot point. So there's a nut right at the very end of the arm that needs to be tightened. In order to do this, in this vehicle it's easier to open up the hood to gain access to that nut. So using a 9 16 socket, you're going to want to tighten that nut. Make sure that the arm is in the correct location. Uh, if it's too low, it won't clear the windshield all the way up and it may hit the other blade. And if you set it too high, it may actually pop off of your windscreen and uh, it hit the, uh, the side of your vehicle. So make sure it's, uh, it's in the proper spot before you start tightening it. So while I'm in here, I'm gonna make sure that the other one is nice and snug. The wiper arm is now firmly attached. I'm going to uh, give it a test and make sure that it works okay. If you were removing the wiper arm, you would have just taken off that nut and you would have uh, full access to remove the arm. So let's just give this a test and make sure that's working. Both arms are staying within the desired location, so I call this a success. Concludes my video on this quick fix. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up.